I'm, uh, I'm from people, I'm uh, Quebecois. I'm actually English from Quebec City, which is French Canadian, because there's no English people in Quebec City. Like growing up, we were the only ones. Like my dad was the only English person I knew. We were the only English people on my street. Everyone else spoke French. Radio was French, TV was French. Until I was four, I was sure my dad had made up a language. <laughs> and that's why I don't get the whole French-English thing in Quebec. Like the French people that are like, on va perdre notre langue, on va perdre notre... You ever notice? The people that are worried that they're going to lose their language only speak one language, right? It's never like the, the Greek guy that can speak three languages or the Italian dude that speaks three languages. Or I have a Chinese friend is fluent in seven different languages. So he can speak French, English, Mandarin, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Creole. So he could lose a language. Like he... He even should. Like, a Chinese guy shouldn't speak Creole. That's just, that's shifty a little. But he's not worried. He's not worried about losing a language. The only people that are worried about losing a language only speak one language. How can you lose the only language you know how to speak? How is that? Is someone going to break into your house at night and steal all your words? Is that what's going to happen? You're going to wake up one morning, and you're going to be like... <laughs> and all your friends are going to be like, oh, he's a in anglais. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have kids, but when I do, they're going to be bilingual. I have a nephew. I actually have two nephews. Um, one of my nephews, is, uh, his name is Carson. He's seven. Amazing nephew. The other one, three months old, my brother decided to name him Larry. <laughs> Larry. Three months old, Larry, Larry works if you're in your 50s. Larry doesn't work for a baby. A ba he's this big already, you imagine him with a mustache and a thermos. <laughs> don't name your kid Larry and don't hit him. You, you shouldn't hit your kids, right? Everyone knows that. But your kids shouldn't know that. It shouldn't be everyone that knows that. Kids shouldn't know you can't hit them. Like when I was little, I didn't know. My dad couldn't hit me, so he'd raise his voice. I'd shut up. It'd work, right? Nowadays, you raise your voice, your kid's like, you can't hit me. I'm seven. If you hit me, I'm going to call child services. If ever your kid tells you that, hire another seven-year-old to beat the crap out of them. I sponsor a little kid in Africa. I don't know if anyone does that here, but I, I got a little kid on the internet. Worldvision.ca, you can pick and choose your kid by age, date of birth, gender, or region. I picked one that was born the same day as me. I write my birth date in, two kids pop up. One of them, Nelson, he's from Kenya, he's four years old, he's perfect. As soon as I saw him, I was like, yes, that's the one I want. Add to cart. So, <laughs> I... I own him now. Because the other one was no good. There was another one, but the other one was all, he was all, he was all small. He looked poor. He was all poor and needy. And he was, he, he had one arm. He's missing parts. He's the same price as the other guy. Put him in the bargain bin. And his name, they named him Treasure. That was his name, Treasure. That's even worse than Larry. But I got why they called him Treasure, because I wanted to bury him too. So, you guys have been awesome. Merci beaucoup tout le monde. See you.